What if I told you that the solution to becoming your fittest self by 2025 is playing VR games? I know it sounds crazy, but if you've tried everything and still feel stuck, this could be the breakthrough that you need. Over the past three years, I've helped my clients ditch the struggle and achieve incredible results with VR fitness. So trust me when I say it works. In this video, I will show you how VR can improve your health, why VR fitness is better than traditional workouts, and the steps I would take if I wanted to get fit by 2025. To start, let me show you how VR and fitness are connected. Welcome to my mad scientist science lab, where I'm about to create the ultimate fitness experience so you can leave your tedious workouts behind. Let's start by combining the most important ingredient. Some personalization, few rewards, community, variety, easy to use, and to finish, a big dash of motivation. This is the MetaQuest 3S, the most affordable VR headset on the market. It works entirely on its own with no other equipment, it's light, comfortable to wear, and it can handle you sweating while wearing it. It comes with endless workout options, with plenty of familiar and new activities, including games that will raise your heart rate without feeling like you're in a fitness class. So what does a workout in VR look like? For my VR workout today, I will start with a dance routine for my warm-up. Then I'm switching to an intermediate box cardio class, and that just set my legs on fire. So I'm topping it off with an upper body sculpt class before finishing with yoga. Think of VR as having on-demand access to all of the fitness classes you can imagine. A trainer who keeps track of your progress and a community of fitness buddies who will support you no matter what, all in one small device. These apps are experts at not only improving your fitness, but they also incorporate scientifically proven methods to keeping you motivated in ways only apps and games can do. Okay, so this sounds nice, but if you've tried working out for years without getting anywhere, how is VR fitness different from traditional workouts? To scientifically compare a VR and non-VR workout, I made my test subject participate in a boxing style session, both in VR and out of the headset, while I measured the intensity of the workout, how much effort she was putting in, how enjoyable she found the workout, and how she felt when the workout was done. The results are in and they are shocking. Not only do the VR workouts match the intensity of real life workouts, but the test subject pushed herself even harder in VR while also finding the workout more enjoyable. And even though she put in more effort, she still felt better and more empowered when finishing up. This cannot be true. It is simply too great. I need to consult my colleagues on this. The thing is, the most important factor to keep in mind when improving your fitness is to challenge yourself. If you want to improve your heart and lung health or your cardio, you have to move at an intensity that raise your heart rate and keep it that way. Then you need consistency. To truly see results, you need to raise your heart rate for at least 10 minutes, three times per week or more. And our mad scientist is not the only researcher who's found that VR does a better job at this than traditional exercise. Multiple published peer-reviewed studies have shown that adding elements of games improves motivation. As recent as this summer, two different studies show that FitXR and Supernatural, two of the most popular VR fitness apps, were as effective as non-VR workout and that the participants enjoyed the VR workouts the most. Now that we've established how VR can be used to get fit and that it's possibly even better than traditional workouts, it's time for me to share the exact steps I would take if I wanted to get fit by 2025. Time to get you shaped up for the new year. I will create a roadmap from today to January 1st and map out all of the checkpoints along the way. We need to have a clear visual of what this journey will look like, or you might end up getting lost in a never ending boxing class with no results in sight. Then all you have to do is follow the roadmap, keep a record of where you've been, and check in regularly so I know you're on the right track. Now, off you go. 
make me proud. Let's break down exactly how I would create my own roadmap to success. First, I need to find out what my fitness level is right now. Easiest way to do that is to complete a one mile walking test. I won't bore you with the details on how to do the test in this video. Instead, I've left a link in the description below where you can grab the worksheet for free and it will tell you exactly what to do. Once I've completed the test, I will have a score and a rating for how good my cardio is. I will use this new insight to set an attainable goal for step number two. This can be hard to figure out when you first do it. So here's some of my client's results to help you get started. Me and Mauro started with a score of 41.5, but after only three months, he significantly lowered his chance of cardiovascular disease by scoring 45.2. Similarly, T started with a score of 30.6, and three months later, she was feeling more energized and confident and scored a fantastic 35.6. For step three, I need to break this down into sub goals so that I can test every single month. Because change happens faster in the beginning, I would put my sub goals as 38 by November 1st, 39.4 by December 1st, and finally 40.2 by January 1st. Step four is keeping a fitness journal. If I do all of my activity in VR, then I can use the Quest Move app to keep track of how often or how long I work out. But because I want to add a little extra information about how my workouts go, I've decided to write everything down, including which VR app I use and what my heart rate is. Step five is the most difficult step. Find a VR fitness app or five that will challenge me and help me reach my goal because it doesn't matter if I'm active for an hour every single day. If my heart rate isn't high enough, then I won't see any improvements in my cardio and I will never hit my January 1st goal. That's why you should watch this video next, where I break down how you decide which VR app is best for you so you can feel confident that the time and effort you put into improving your health will actually get you results.